Beyond Light kicks off. It's and walking a different road than one that you may have believed you were destined for. What makes something bad? Who's right? Beyond Light's really the beginning of a new adventure. Guardians for the longest time have been, and now we're starting to move into that gray area between the light and dark. If the darkness reaches out, we must reach back. I will not sanction this. In Season of Arrivals, the vanguard is divided. What they want, we should get to know them and understand more, but it definitely comes to a head. This next year in Destinies are reacting to these disappeared destinations and what that means as the pyramids have been. We're going to see the return of a character who's been absent for a pretty long time in The Stranger. And when I know more, you'll know more. She has, and the only way to truly really stop it is to work with it. And here comes our guardian, right on time. Why did the darkness invite us here? Europa is. There was, and a lot of that was built underground. Clear, really pushing the limits of technology and innovation there, maybe stepping into some things that... Under the eyes. The storm, something we've wanted to do for a long time. The weather system is... You're walking through an open space and all of a sudden things start happening. Coming across this. The ice will change based on what the weather is looking like. You'll actually feel edging around you to match the storm. Europa itself is a pretty foreboding place. She has lieutenants who have gotten their hands on stasis, gotten their hands on the darkness, and they're learning to wield it. One by one, we will rise again. And so I think her motivation. Today, we begin breaking free from our chains. Really challenges a lot of the ways that we think about light and darkness. She's a compelling leader. Is the light going to be enough? I think we've seen maybe it's time to fight fire with fire. Stasis. We've got Solar Void Arc, and now we've got Stasis. That was kind of the theme that everyone's kind of rallied behind. So when we say Once he freezes solid, shatter him in pieces. The pieces break apart and explode into you. So all of that kind of came together when we landed on that theme. Stasis is going to not only change the little ways to modify your subclass. Aspects are a little bit more potent. And then the fragments are the things that are class agnostic. But depending on what your class is and depending on what your aspects are, you select different ones in there. This is just the beginning for Stasis. We're going to continue to expand on it. I found personally that the best way to do it was... In Beyond Light, we have new exotic weapons for you. Instead of just being time portal, and it starts spitting out rounds alongside you. You can actually have that on top of the arc built for it. It uses up your sword's energy to give yourself a new combo, and then spinning slash your champions. I think it'll be the fact that it is a chainsaw sword. 
that formed a key part of your build around which the Titan gets the Icefall mantle arms that looks like it is crafted from Golden Age tech. We'll put an overshield. Is Necrotic Grip. If you are facing at you, you can nail them with your melee attack. There's a lot there for newcomers coming in too. If you've got a friend who hasn't tried it out, it's a good experience for free players. Last year, a new life. This year, we're bringing back a much larger portion of the destination. Experiences that started with original Destiny 1, but puts them and stitches them together in a different way. And what you're going to meet in this new opening experience is a character with curious, Shah Han. Thank the light. I didn't think we had other Guardians on patrol here. What I Destiny distilled. Season of the Hunt. To make their move forward. Including Zivu Arath a sister of Oryx, an army. And we're working with Osiris to try to stop her. Osiris goes out, stumbles across, driving combatants crazy. Osiris is in trouble. We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here. Impossible. We finally catch up to what we saw at the end of Forsaken by a ghost. Aldrin, who now refers to himself as Crow, the slate's been wiped clean when he was resurrected <laughs> as a guardian. We know what he's done. That's going to question how we look at him, how we look at ourselves, how we look at the light, how we look at darkness. In Season of the Hunt, we're partners to take down the High Celebrant. It's creating these cryptoliths around the system, and those cryptoliths all in corrupting them. So Zebu Arath is set to put a stop to it. I'm really excited to see year four of Destiny. Sabathun has been placing dominoes, and she's putting the last pieces in place. Destiny is just a really incredible world, and... We have a lot to look forward to between. We feel like we've got a really great way to bring people together, working through COVID. We're community of players. We want to meet you where you are. I think the thing from... Seeing it for years. When I look at the team that we're... 